Tim Tio, well, fantastic win tonight. Yeah, it was awesome. I'm glad we got to win our last home game of the season. A very impressive win, too. <laughs> it wasn't just a, a get by with one or two points or right, a last we, clutch second shot. Right. Like you've had a Finally, couple of them. Right. And now that momentum is building, it, it seems like there's. The team is entering into a good stride, entering into the close of the season. Most definitely. I just think it's just, it's finally been everybody all together. I mean, we've had a lot of adversity throughout the season, and I think everybody is really just starting to gel, gel and click at the right time. Talk about the key to the chemistry. What do you think it's been that's caused the transition from this point to where you're successful now? I, I just think it's time together. I mean, um, being able to practice with the whole team, everybody being here, um, everybody just being kind of in tune defensively, it's just kind of changed the, the dynamics of our team. I think our defensive level of intensity has gone up tremendously. I mean, we're over-rotating a lot more than we used to, and it's just it's better. It's causing for a lot more skills, a lot more transition points, and that's the kind of game that we like to play. Now, with the playoffs coming, what are your thoughts as far as which team preferably do you want to play? Or I think regardless, it's not going to be easy in the playoffs. I think that we just, whoever we play, we just got to come out, you know, no personnel and, and just be able to execute against whatever team. Because if we have to play Minnesota or Phoenix, both teams have different different um, different weapons. I think Brittany Griner is a different weapon than Amaya Moore. So whoever we have to play, it's just, it just depending upon the game. We just got to come out and play it extremely hard. And how do you keep the intensity? The coach mentioned that, you know, sometimes you're your own enemy. In a sense, you may slacken up with a comfortable lead. What's the key or the antidote to that to keep the intensity 20, you know, the entire day? Just attention to detail. Like, if you get a little tired, kind of just make sure you have a play where you, you can get the ball reversed a couple of times and, you know, and get, get a good shot. I think sometimes when we get tired, we're just overpassing and we're staring and telegraphing passes. And it's just, it has to be where everybody's moving, everybody's kind of in a rhythm and not getting to those points where we're getting to a lull. And that just takes just ball movement and ball reversal. We're just trying to get one pass and a layup, but it's not that easy sometimes. When you're playing against teams, it's good. You have to execute and rotate the ball and get it to the other side of the floor. Fantastic. Well, thank you thank and you. good success going forward. Thank you.